HTTP version 2 is the new protocol that takes over after HTTP 1.1. It started out as an experiment at Google called Speedy that was so successful it grew into the next official HTTP protocol. HTTP 2 is now supported by 76% of global web browser usage, and web hosting companies are rapidly deploying support as well, meaning it is quickly becoming the standard protocol for web traffic. To take advantage of HTTP 2 on your site, three requirements need to be met. First, your server must support HTTP 2 and all its features. Second, the connection between the server and the browser must be encrypted through SSL, so starting with HTTPS. And third, the browser must support HTTP 2, which almost all browsers do. If any one of these three requirements fails, the connection will be an HTTP 1.1 connection instead. The second requirement, that the connection must be encrypted, is quite revolutionary in its own right. Mandating encryption for performance will make people and companies who previously saw encryption as an unnecessary or complicated add-on reconsider, and as a result, will get a more secure and more performant web. It's a win-win situation. Add to this free SSL certificate services like OpenSSL and Let's Encrypt, and you really have no excuse not to slap that S on the end of your HTTP. But that's a bit of a side note. Back to performance. To ensure stability on the web, HTTP 2 extends existing functionality in HTTP 1.1, meaning if a server or browser does not support version 2 or you don't have an SSL connection, the site will just fall back to the older protocol without anything breaking. All this means at this moment, we are entering an HTTP 2 world and a lot of what we know about performance is about to change. Speedy and eventually HTTP 2 was introduced specifically to deal with performance issues like the ones described in the previous movie. This also means many of the workarounds and patches we've created to deal with those performance issues are no longer necessary, and in some cases, they're actually becoming counterproductive. HTTP 2 comes with a long list of performance enhancements, some of which are automatic and some we can take advantage of, and in this course, we'll focus on the latter group, starting with multiplexing. Whereas HTTP 1.1 allowed only one request to be processed at a time through a connection, HTTP 2 allows what's known as multiplexing and does so in a dynamic way. This means the browser can request and receive many different files at the same time and doesn't have to wait for one file to finish before starting the download of the next one. This in turn means concatenating CSS and JavaScript files and spriting image files to speed up downloads by reducing HTTP requests no longer makes any sense. Rather than piling everything into one huge file, we can now download several smaller files simultaneously. This is both quicker and more efficient because instead of loading all the concatenated CSS and JavaScript on one page, we can load only the CSS and JavaScript required for the current page, saving bandwidth and time in the process. Splitting our files up like this also has other benefits. Each file can be independently cached by the browser for a quick recall. A small update to a style rule or script doesn't require a complete reload of all the styles or JavaScript. And we can even proactively push dependent files to the browser cache before it even knows it needs them. Well, long story short, HTTP2 changes everything.